Hey guys, how are you guys doing today? It's been a while, hey. It's been a while since the last time I worked on my car. So recently, I sold my Evo, and uh, well, I only have this RX-7 now. So that's my only car now. And so today, I'm going to do something. So a few days ago, I checked online, and uh, I see this. I found this. Yeah, most of you guys probably know what's this, right? So, cube speed, cube speed short shifter. But before, I never, I never seen this brand. But I did some research. So this one is from Australia, probably a local dealer and specialized in making short shifters and some bushings. So today, I'm going to put this on my car. And see how it goes so this one so this one is made of the aluminum the CNC machined so you can call it bitted so bitted aluminum short shifter and the build quality is I mean you can see the, the cutting is pretty accurate so for aluminum part and also the spring it's not really easy to see but overall the build quality is very, is very impressive so for 150 dollars you can buy something like this so it's pretty good and here's the actually i'm not sure if yeah so to be honest i'm not sure if this one is the factory one or the aftermarket one yeah, because I never opened it and the previous owner in Japan so so before I bought the car he already did some pretty good mods and you can see the the current shifter is pretty short it's pretty short so it might be already the short shifter but I'm not sure let's find out okay so that's my toolbox so let's get started the first thing you gotta remove the gear knob so I already it feels not this gear knob is pretty good you can see it's a sparkle sparkle so it's actually not a copper fiber it's aluminum so sparkle gear knob but you have to use the allen key to remove it Remove it. And so next thing, to open this panel. So this thing is not very hard. So you just pull pull this up. It's to make it easier. So I really I really loosen it. So right now I can just pull it up. And here's some cable. You need to unplug this. Here's some of the switches. Okay, just unplug them. Oh wait, I think you don't have to unplug them, so you just put this the other side, on the other side because you already have enough space to work on the shifter so let's see oh this one, pretty, pretty. so is this for the noise cancelling shit? yeah it looks pretty nasty, yeah? yeah so yeah, so this is a shifter uh, the shifter itself, a shifter, a uh, short shifter, a uh, shifter. So uh, this one factory, I think it, it's a factory one, eh? And the rubber boot is still in pretty good quality, no worries and tears. Yeah, I think I need to remove, remove the cover. Okay, let's do it. Yeah, so now I just need a 10 millimeter socket to open this cover. You can actually compare with the Evo shifter, so FD shifter is much easier to work on. Yeah, because uh, to do the Evo shifter, remember my, my last video, so it cost me about 20 minutes to open the cover, because you have to open the cover on the center console and then the armrest. 
So this one is pretty easy, straightforward. I think I'm, I need to open the flesh. It's so dark. Now you're gonna really need to remove those rubber bolts. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So this thing, you have to pull harder because his has a, like a double-sided, so it's like a double-sided tape. So just be careful, don't cut your finger. Don't cut your finger. This is those plastic part. It's pretty sharp. So okay, I'm gonna stop recording for a while. So until I open this, okay. All right, so it's open now. And actually, you don't have to remove this because what you're gonna remove is the actual shifter. So this whole part, we need to remove it. So I think there's four bolts. So another interesting thing you might want to have a look. So, so this one definitely stock one. So you can see when I try to shift. So the actual bolts on the OEM shifter already loose. Yeah, because this you can see all three bolts already loose. That's why the shifter is quite wobbling everywhere. So next time, if you find your OEM shifter wobbling like this, you might want to have a look. So to open this, maybe yeah, maybe just check the bolts. Maybe you will solve the problem. But now I'm gonna replace the whole thing, so it doesn't matter too much. All right, let's work on it. So now I'm just remove the first part of the factory. Shifter. Top part you can see. I need to put this somewhere else. It's quite dirty. Where should I put? So now you can see the actual. Uh, there's some oil in it. There's transmission oil or gearbox. Gearbox oil. Alright, so now I'm gonna stop recording for a while now because uh, it's not too easy to film and while doing this. So I'll show you the result later. Finally, yeah, so this thing is moving now. So, so last box. This one is not that easy to access. Wait. So it's out. Just be careful. Yeah, there's a lot of gearbox oil in. Yeah. So this one is a factory shifter assembly. Wait a second. So now you need to remove the OEM shifter bushing out and put it on the cube speed. Yeah, right here. So you gotta put it right here and put it back on before we put it back on. Yep. Now halfway done, as you can see. So this one. Yeah, because I haven't put the lever bushing on it because I'm going to... It's really hard, you know, it's not easy to... It's not easy to remove the bushing 
from the gear lever. But, but I'm doing the test fit to see how it goes. You can see it's right now. It feels very solid, you know? Very solid. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go home to get some very hot water here yeah, because if you put it in the hot water maybe the bushing will become softer and will be easier to, to get out. Yeah, so this is a cup of hot water. So I put this in it for about one minute. Very easily I put this out straight. So let's put it back on. There you go. So that's one the same process. So you just need to put the bushing in the water, in the hot water for about 30 seconds. And you can very easily put it on the new gear lever. So let's put this on. Let's finish the work. So now I'm gonna put this on finally. So just make sure the position Make sure the gear lever is on its position here. Yep, now it's on, so yeah, it's good. Let's put a bolt on. And it's finished. Let's finish it. Yeah, just take your time. You don't want to drop your bolts down there. So it's all done now. Feel very clean, tidy. And the gear selection, very solid. So if you want to know how does it feel like, so if you ever driven the Honda S2000, so that's pretty much the one of the best shifter in the world. So one of the best shifter in the production car. So it feels pretty much like a brand new S2000 shifter. It's very good. So let's put the cover on and go for a test drive. So there's one more, one more thing I want to do before I put everything back on. So I want to use the OEM. So how do you call this OEM shifter cover? Yeah. So to put it back on, the reason why I'm doing this is so I want to prevent dust and water come into my car, so <laughs> basically the dust. So dust will also come into the shifter. So you can see here's the cover. So it's perfectly cover the shifter so the dust will not easily come into the, the shifter and destroy the bushings. Yeah, so that's a good idea. Yeah, almost done. Have a try. Yeah, so much better now. The shift of travel pretty short and very accurate.
test drive. And guys, so I just done a test drive to the supermarket, and this thing, so so when a shifter or when a transmission warmed up, it's become really smooth, really smooth and accurate. So really easy to shift into gear. Guys, I'm loving it. So, 150 bucks, definitely worth it. Yeah. Okay, enjoy the night. Thanks for watching, guys. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. So today, the shifter cost me about two hours to install. So, <laughs> it's not easy, but not very hard. If you have a proper tools, so this should be fine. Alright, have a good night.